With so much happening around us, we seldom notice or talk about people who are doing brilliant things to make the world a better place. From telepathy to inventions that make bioplastics from banana peels, these young scientists have left us awestruck with their attention to detail and relentless efforts to materialize their ideas into reality. Let's talk about all the brilliant minds of recent times who've achieved a lot in the world of science. First off, we have Elif Belgian. Elif has some outstanding achievements under her belt. Elif, at the mere age of 16, won the 2013 Google Science Fair with participants from all over the world. She won for her project for making plastics from bio peels, plastic and banana peels. Yes, a combination no one ever thought would exist. The 16-year-old brilliant mind Belgian proved it to us years ago. She surely took a leap towards sustainable development, considering how harmful plastic waste has been to us. Elif's project was all about our sustainable future. Her invention revolved around making bioplastics from banana peels instead of using petroleum-based plastic. The leaf is originally from Turkey and majored in computer science and biomedical engineering at John Hopkins University. The leaf has used the motto, nothing is impossible to realize her dreams. She is currently working on the Da Vinci surgical robot method and testing its reliability to revolutionize and change the future of training surgeons. Next up is Kenneth Shinozuka. Here we have another brilliant Google Science Fair winner. Kenneth won the 2014 Google Science Fair when he was was just 15. Kenneth's invention focused on healthcare, to be precise, the ease of Alzheimer's patients and their caretakers. He invented the Safe Wander Sock Sensor, which notifies others every time the patient would move around at night. This invention is of great help for those dealing with Alzheimer's and creates a safety net around patients by alerting the caretakers of their movement. Years after coming up with this brilliant invention, Kenneth has remained persistent in making Safe Wander Sock accessible and user-friendly. On being asked about his motivation behind this invention, Kenneth talked about observing the hardships of his grandparents faced as Alzheimer's patients. He also mentioned how this invention came about as he was exposed to science from a young age. His parents were chemical engineers and would take him to labs. He already knew the problem at hand, to find a solution for his grandparents and subsequently many people who were in similar shoes. He had the resources and support from his parents to materialize his idea. Kenneth has made Safe Wander Sock accessible globally by selling the product on his website. Coming up, it's Fiona Beck. Fiona is working on energy concepts conservation. Every time energy travels from its original source, some of it's lost. Fiona is working on a seemingly micro problem to solve more significant issues. She is working on improving the efficiency and conservation of light energy by working on a nano scale. Through this, she aims to create efficient solar fuels and better ways to transport energy so less of it goes to waste. Moving on, we have 17-year-old Isha Jane, who has achieved quite a lot in the world of science. Isha started working in a biology development lab in the ninth grade. Her interests lay in the study of bones as she realized how it is largely still unknown how bones develop and grow. If more research and study were done on the growth of bones, then we'd be able to find a cure to injuries faster and a solution to growth and development related problems. Isha took matters into her own hands by studying the development of fins and zebrafish. Jane incorporated fluorescent microscopy in her work and was able to record several cellular pulses. Her groundbreaking research was not just published but also helped her bag a scholarship worth $100,000 at the Siemens competition. Isha completed Completed her undergraduate studies from Harvard University. Let's learn more about the stars, all thanks to Marla Gia. Yale professor Marla Gia studies the galaxies and the Milky Way. Sounds super cool, right? Gia is a physicist, astrophysicist, and astronomer. Gia works on finding galaxies and Milky Ways that surround our own. Before Gia entered this field, scientists only knew of 11 galaxies. Gia remained persistent in her work and research and believed more galaxies existed, and so Gia and her team were eventually able to find 14 galaxies. Such discoveries are a huge deal as they allow us to understand what happens beyond Earth. Not to mention telepathy is possible, all thanks to Adam Wilson. 28-year-old Adam Wilson made telepathy possible with his genius invention. He sent a telepathic tweet which said, using EEG to send a tweet. He referred to an electroencephalograph to send signals to the brain using the electronic signals in the head. His invention has a bigger ambition to ease technological communication for people who are disabled. He wishes to create a wireless system that could analyze and understand complex thoughts. Wilson also talked about his inspiration, Stephen Hawking, and mentioned how he would have loved to work with the late mastermind. Following up, me here Gary Mella's science project is proof that nothing is impossible. Gary Mella is the first computer science winner in the 2015 Google Science Fair. His project was based on the idea of the 
the escape mechanism of the fruit fly, and he linked that observation to drones. He came up with the idea that drones should be responsive to their environment, and he did so by using algorithms and sensors. After his idea's success at the science fair, Mihir worked on biologically inspired softwares. Mihir opted for an undergraduate degree in computer science at Stanford University. He also has some of the biggest companies on his resume, such as NASA and the Air Force. Upon being asked about his motivation behind such innovative inventions, Mihir simply talked about his love for science and his innate nature to ask questions and seek solutions and answers to his questions. He talks about his passion for science and how deeply observing the world around us can help us figure out the answers to some pressing questions. Now, let's learn about evolution. Nathaniel Dominey is an anthropology professor at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Nathaniel's study revolves around answering one of the biggest anthropological questions, how did apes develop into humans? Nathaniel is doing so by studying food and tea. Dominey believes that while studying evolution, little importance has been given to the food our ancestors ate. For instance, in one of the findings, it is noted that ancestors ate a lot of hard food, which in turn gave them the energy to outsmart other carnivores. Domini is now working on a study that seeks to figure out why some people are taller than others. As an area of study that is relatively under-researched, it would be interesting to know his findings. Moreover, Andres Platzer and his groundbreaking invention, Kiamara, the ballroom dancer turned scientist. Platzer's journey is nothing short of inspiring and goes on to show how nothing is impossible. Platzer is originally from Germany, and regardless of his successful career as a ballroom dancer, he mentioned his keen interest in computers. In his 20s, while working as a professor at the University of Oldenburg, Germany. He studied and analyzed the reliability of autopilot systems and how they could fail. Andres Platzer then invented Kiamara, which is one of the greatest inventions of recent times as it ensures improved safety protocols in the air and even on trains. Lastly, we have Kate Rubens. Kate Rubens hoped to work as an astronaut at NASA, but unfortunately, that job was not open for women at the time. She then aimed higher and went on to study and research on deadly human diseases. Rubens has published extensive research on HIV as she sought to literally hunt killer viruses. Kate's determination to study and research on a life-threatening virus that permeates the human body has led to several medicinal developments. She believes there's a duty one owes to other people and also worked on the outbreak of smallpox. Recently, she has been working on the development of monkeypox in Africa and aims to study how and why the outbreak happens. Seeing such intelligent minds emerge in the field of science renews our hope in the world. Several other people, including those named above, continue to work hard to make this world a better place. Science is our future. The more effort we put in to understand and resolve the minuscule problems around us, the better and brighter our future will be. If there's anything we've learned from these young scientists, it is the need for attention to detail and consistency. And that's a wrap for this video. If you have any questions or thoughts related to the topic, then let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.